Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and today you're looking at another Saturn V, because today we're going to be doing a fully reusable Saturn V video. And I've done a lot of Saturn V videos, but um, it's a great rocket, and we can do fun stuff with it, like make it fully reusable. So, SAS on full throttle, and we're going to fire up those five Macedon engines, which are the KSB counterpart to the F1, which is on the Saturn V, and it's going to just crawl off the pad, but uh, that's... It, but it does in real life too. Uh, yeah, basically the Saturn V in KSP, if you like remake it, has way too much delta V. So you know you can do some pretty weird stuff with it, like take it to Valve, which I've done before. And uh, in this case, we're going to be uh, making a fully reusable version of it. So all the stages are going to land. All of them are going to be reused, basically, um, just you know SpaceX style esque ish. You know, propulsive land most of them actually. Well, you have to stay tuned to see how some of the later ones land because you know you're kind of getting weird stuff, but. Uh, yeah, we're already uh, just starting our set now, starting to pitch over, uh, crossing about over 20 kilometers now, and just getting ready to detach the bottom stage, which I have done now, and then it's going to go ahead and turn retrograde, and it is going to do a boost back burn. It's the only stage that's going to do one of these. It's going to basically do what uh, some of the Falcon 9 boosters and some of the Falcon and the Falcon Heavy side uh, cores do. Uh, you basically just turn around, cancel all your horizontal velocity, and start going the other direction, called Beast Back Burn, and we're going to be bringing it back to the Kerbal Space Center. So pumping all the fuel to the back, and then we're going to get ready to fire up those engines once again and do our landing burn using um, some burner engines on, uh, which are mounted on the uh, on the stage to help keep it stable, basically, because those fins on the bottom, it, it gets really flippy and stuff, but. Uh, either way, we're coming down now, and that's just gonna be the first of the five stages fully recovered. All right, or four actually. Um, here's the second stage uh, that is now gonna be burning. I had to remove a lot of fuel from this stage because if I were to leave it fully fueled, it wouldn't. The thing would not have enough TWR to get actually into orbit. It had enough delta V, but we didn't really have the thrust because those skiffs do not have a lot of a uh, lot of thrust. But Either way, uh, we're just crossing 65 kilometers now, pitching pretty much flat because uh, this stage is not going to be doing a boost back burn. It's going to try and be getting all the way to the next continent, basically, or the peninsula, uh, which we are going to do now. So we're going to get the thing, uh, first of all, get the fuel pump to the back, get it turned retrograde, and then we're going to do a slight um, entry burn and then get the air brakes uh, enabled. It just did that little bit of a burn just so we don't overshoot that peninsula because it can do that. Uh, so just going to make sure we hit that middle and then just using those air brakes to slow ourselves down. They really slow you down a lot. Like look at the speed. It's like below 200. So those engines do not have a lot of work to do, but they will do some work. You do have to do the final bit of the burn. So there you go, firing them up. They have a great TWR, even though the engines themselves don't, but when the thing's empty and there's five of them, yeah, it gets a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good thrust rate ratio. So here it comes, landing right about now. All right, that is two of four fully recovered. So now we're just gonna switch back to that third stage as it powers our way into orbit. Just crossed 70 kilometers with it. This thing has a horrible TWR, and I kind of realized that as I had to start pitching up. And then I, what I basically try and do here is just maintain 70 kilometers because I'm like, eh, you know, we're already in space. Why not just try and circularize? Right? Do it all in one big burn like we do in real life. So that's what we're doing. Just trying to maintain 70, about 72 kilometers now, and just trying to get ourselves fully circularized into an orbit. Um, actually, fun fact: the real Saturn V got into a really low orbit. It's like 100 by 100 kilometers in real life, which is uh, the Kármán line, uh, basically. And the 70 kilometers is the Kármán line KSB. So yeah, efficiency, right, guys? Uh, and we're gonna be taking this to the moon, by the way. Uh, if you didn't, you know, that's where the real Saturn V goes. We have we have probably had enough delta V to do maybe Drez, but I just figured it. Why not just stick stick to stick to something familiar for this rocket? That third stage uh, where we're at right now really has a lot of delta V, like a, a huge numbers of delta V, and it lands with a ton of extra. But I'm I'm trying to keep the flight profile realistic. It was three stages to orbit, and then it use half of this stage to do its tail higher translunar injection, which is the burn I'm doing right now. And then it would stage away that stage, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to try and follow the real life profile. Um, while we're doing this burn, I do want to say, sorry, I've not been uploading for a few days. I've been doing stuff. I've been busy, not been able to be at my computer for a long time. So we're going to try and get back to daily uploads now. Um, Make Dreads Great Again is the series that we're going to be starting. It's going to be starting tomorrow. Sorry for the delay, but yeah, sorry. I did have stuff come up. So I do apologize for the absence, uh, but we are back. Going to be doing daily uploads now. I know I've been taking kind of a lot of breaks lately, but I've just been doing a lot of stuff with family. 
Uh, so do apologize for the break in videos, but we're going to be getting back to daily uploads and hopefully trying to get to our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Um, that's my that's my little channel update aside. I wanted to get that pretty brief because there's a lot to talk about in this video. Um, what I just announced staged away my third stage and which I have the command module and the lander are the things now, the rearrangement thing that the Saturn V does. And then we're just going to do a slight burn with this thing to lower our orbit so um, we can just basically get into a good position to land. I just kind of threw a maneuver node down because it has so much delta V you can basically do whatever you want with it. Uh, which is what I did. And I'm just going to be uh, planning a burn there and just doing a little bit of a periaps lowering maneuver just so uh, just so we can actually enter the atmosphere. And uh, this thing, um, this thing was the, this one was the trickiest to land um, of all all four. Uh, but we'll get back to that because we need to do our Mun landing, uh, which is going to be done just pretty much like normal. We're going to be doing a circularization burn around the Mun, coming in um, equatorial and with its rotation to save a little bit of LTV. Go ahead and do that burn right now, and then we'll transfer the crew. So um, one one thing though with the Saturn V or this whole the Apollo landing, I don't know what you'd call it, but essentially the, the lander, as most people know, it's a two-stage lander. Like you have that bottom stage which you do the landing with and then there's an upper stage that you do the takeoff with. You have to be reusable, right? So um, basically I just don't, I don't stage it. So that, that wastes a lot of delta V and this landing just goes, oh, sticky keys, sticky keys, yeah, and then, <laughs> I figured I'd throw that in just for the memes. Sticky keys can really screw you up, guys. Just to let you know, if you're hitting, if you're spamming shift and stuff like that to try and like gradually raise your thrust, sticky keys can show up. And we almost actually landed. I was actually amazed nothing blew up. So I'm like, hey, maybe we can, maybe we can make something out of nothing. So I'm like, okay, oh, oh, this thing has no reaction wheels. So I have to use RCS. So it's not really, not really, not really uh, playing along here. So I'm like, um, maybe I fire the engine. That'll maybe this was a bad idea. This is why we have quick save. That's why we have quick saves, kids. Because yeah, no, that was. Don't start. Don't. Here we go. Attempt number two. No one. No one saw anything. I'm just gonna fire up that engine. Um, that, nice low thrust setting. Um, and sticky keys thankfully do not show up this time. Lower the landing gear. And, or landing legs rather, and then we can slowly bring this thing into a landing on the Mun. It wasn't the best landing, but eh, it was a normal landing. A normal chill landing, a little bit, a little bit of the floaties, and then just kind of settle it down. Uh, we're gonna uh, just pump some of our fuel into the bottom stage, uh, from the top stage, because the bottom stage does not have enough delta V to do a landing and a takeoff, so you have to just pump some fuel. There really was no good way to like fly the bottom stage back or something. It just doesn't even make sense. So we're just gonna be reusing the whole lander, just bringing the whole thing back up. Yeah, pretty simple. And then we um, we just need to do some EVA stuff because you know you can't can't have a mission without doing EVA. Pretty important. Are you really there if you're not? You know, don't plan flags. So we're just gonna do some, I don't know, some spin maneuvers, jumping around, having fun. It's like a trampoline on the mud after all. But and then yeah, well, we'll except the surface is not all bouncy and it's a, a rock. But. Planting the flag? I don't know what happened to my American, my incorrect American flag. If you don't know, I might, on the save I have an American flag and it doesn't have enough stars and I thought that was a bit of a meme so I just have that as my flag. And then I type something I actually can't see in my preview window on my editing software because it's uh, it's downscaled so I just put something. I really don't know what I put in the text. Either way, maybe you guys can let me know or I can just check. It's very easy. Uh, but. Um, now we're going to go do, and uh, we can't have a Kerbal video without Kerbals doing weird stuff and flopping everywhere, so try that again. Um, the door is, to be honest, a little bit a little bit glitchy, but who cares? You know, this part really is quite useless, the Looter Lander, or Mooner, Munner, Lunner, Lander. It, it kind of useless. Um, could at least compare the Mark II Landing Camp, which is, you know, way better, in my opinion. But um, enough talk about that. We're going to be talking about um, the third stage, which, if you don't remember, still has a re-entry to do and a landing. So we're going to do a combination of engine firing and air brakes to slow us down. Use the engine just to slow us down from our, to do our, uh, basically our entry burn. Uh, just basically because um, we have just so much extra delta V, um, I just had to do that so I could shave some fuel off. Oh, I've been texted, guys. <clears throat> Probably my friend telling me I haven't uploaded the video. I know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. 
on this, uh, I don't know, I should cut this out, but we here at Paola Studios have very low production value. Either way, uh, I'm going to uh, pull the air brakes out and then start firing the engine now as we do our landing burn. And since this thing only has one engine, it is very, very tippy. I tried like multiple times, granted this is not a very flat area, but yeah, no, we, we are, we, this is tip, tip, we, we tip over, sorry. We, and it does break an air brake, so, or I think two air brakes. So I guess you guys have all been scammed. It's not fully reusable because some air brakes fall over, fall off when our, you know, rocket doesn't land properly. Ah, uh, we gonna do it? We gonna do it? Cause I, I knew it was gonna, it was gonna like tip over. So I'm like really trying to get as nice of a landing as possible to see if I can maybe, but yeah, no, no, it's, bye. <clears throat> Only one air brake. See, 99.9, .9, and the fairing was we didn't reuse either. So, who cares? You, you know what I mean. You could, I think, I think that counts. The other 99.9% .9 of the rocket is fully reusable, except for one air brake and the fairing. So, uh, enough about that. I'm just going to pump the rest of the fuel from the top stage into the bottom, and then we can get ready to do our rendezvous. I have a lot of crap in Mun orbit. That's from the Artemis series that I did. Technically not over yet, but it, it became a bit of a faff. So. Unfortunately, uh, that is, that's going to be put on hold for a while. And now my friend's calling me, probably to complain that I haven't finished this video. I'm doing it, mate. I'm doing it. Don't you hate people, guys, trying to trying to keep me on task. But <laughs> uh, either way, um, we're going to be getting ready to do our uh, orbital maneuver, orbital insertion burn around the moon, and then I'm getting just gonna do the uh, docking burn, basically the rendezvous with the thing at the same time as my uh, at the same time as my insertion burn. Just do it all in one big burn, cause you know why not? Have the delta V. I have like 200 extra delta V in this thing, um, but not a lot of extra monoprop, which is the only means of reorienting, reorienting ourselves rather. Um, so that will come up in a second. Spoiler alert. But we're just going to go ahead and, um, because we over, we overheat the burn a little bit, so we're just going to try and just do some flip flips, flip flips, and then get the thing, get the thing, um, realigned, the nodes realigned. So just going to warp around to the, um, location, and then just do the normal retrograde burn, and then we're going to try and do the, uh, the lound lazy method of docking, but unfortunately in a few seconds here you'll see that my monoprop runs out, so I don't actually manage to get the two ships to target each other. Um, so that was kind of annoying, so I had to do the whole thing with the, um, the whole docking with the, the command module, uh, just because I didn't, have any, I didn't have any monoprop to align the thing, so uh, basically, um, yeah, I run run out of monoprop because yeah, they they kind of hit weird and then they start doing some circling circling each other. Um, I mean, I think my cha my channel will be known for the, the janky dockings. That, that'll be my thing, you know. Strats and Blitz and Strats and Blitz has Upsilon. Um, Bradley Whiston has all his cool craft. I have janky docking. That's that'll be my thing. But either way, it does work out at the end because they're small craft and the docking the docking ports can pull into each other really easily. Um, so that's that, and then we can get ready to do our second to last burn of the mission, uh, which is going to be our trans. I don't know what you'd call it, but this is our lunar ejection, basically, where we get ready to head back towards a Kerbin. Pretty easy burn, about 200 meters a second, but our, um, my control point was weird, so the thing kept trying to turn the other way, but uh, that was fixable. And then I'm just going to go ahead and time warp down to uh, our periaps. I'm trying to load fuel into the uh, command module stage just because I was afraid it was going to run out of fuel when I tried and did my uh, re-entry burn. I thought it might need some fuel for to land. Uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't. Um, I'm like, I know there's a trick to try and get the, the fuel thing to start working again. I don't know. I tried F9 and F, F5 and F9, but I mean, you guys just saw it didn't work. But either way, I'm going to use the rest of my fuel um, that I had available to me um, to... Well, actually, I basically did use all my fuel because they were combined. The docking ports were together, so it didn't really even matter the fuel thing anyway. But I used it all to do my uh, re-entry burn. And then you can see I have to keep spamming deploy on those uh, landing legs. They had it, they kept the, the, the temperature gauge get really high and that somehow stopped it. But uh, either way, um, we're gonna use good old trusty parachutes for this uh, for this landing just because the, you know, we didn't have enough Delta V or TWR in that Wolfhound stage to do it. So we're gonna do the good old trusty parachute method uh, to land. Um, and then that'll be basically it. 
uh, for the uh, fully reusable Saturn V video. The you know the 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 rule I usually go with parachutes is I'm okay with the parachute as long as the parachutes don't clip into each other. That's my general rule with them, uh, just because I feel like they can get a little bit cheaty if you just clip a bunch into each other. But that's when they're deployed, like they're not inside of each other. What I'm talking about. But uh, either way, that's the end of the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'd like to thank you for watching. Until next time, please rate or comment to the video once again. Thank you for watching. See you next time, and bye.